Hi, my name is Andy Cherna, and we're here today at Full Compass, and I'm demoing the Two Notes Torpedo Speaker Simulation Systems. Uh, we have several units with us today. We have uh, Torpedo Live, which is a digital load box. We have the pedal version, the Two Notes Torpedo Cab, which is the same features as the uh, Torpedo Live. However, it's designed for line level or pedal level uh, signals. And we have a new product with us called the Torpedo Reload which is an atten advanced attenuator. It's sort of a um, Swiss Army knife for your studio for reamplification, for attenuation, and for directing the guitar signal within a studio environment. So we're going to begin with a little tour of the torpedo functionality as a speaker emulator, and then we can compare and contrast the different units and figure out which one is the right uh, unit for different applications. Um, they all share the same process, which is um, a process using impulse responses to emulate the sound of the cabinet, the microphone, and the mic placement. Why this is important? Multiple reasons. Um, we're always faced with challenges where guitar amps are loud and cabinets are very cumbersome and difficult to transport and in some cases impractical in certain environments which we can go through. Um, so we capture the sound of the cabinet. Unlike a, model, a guitar modeler, um, we don't do the distortion. We don't do phase shifting and flanging and pitch shift and all that stuff. Um, you have to bring a harmonic generator of your own to the party. So the idea is that in this case, we're using a tube guitar amplifier. Um, we can also use a distortion pedal. Uh, we can use a preamp. Uh, all the torpedo technology works as well for bass. And there's other applications like keyboards, vintage keyboards like Rhodes, where a certain clavinet where the torpedo is really an excellent uh, addition to your sound. So in the case of the live, which is a load box with the speaker emulator, we're taking the speaker out of the amplifier with no other speaker connected. And the torpedo is loading the amplifier, so the amplifier is going to function correctly and not uh, be damaged by the fact that there's no speaker connected. And then we're taking um, the output with the speaker emulation. In this case, um, the audio you're hearing is the direct output of the torpedo. We could run that also directly to your DAW. You could run that to a in-ear monitor system, headphones, a uh, full range speaker system, either as a stage monitor or front of house, in, in basically any combination. Uh, when you add on products like, like the, the reload, then you can do reamplification. So you could record the guitar sound into the computer and then send it back again through a real tube amp or pedals as you wish in any combination, and then back, load it again, uh, back into your DAW with speaker emulation uh, part of the feature. So what we have, and we show this on the screen, now this is the Torpedo Remote which is included with the Torpedo product. However, it is not necessarily required for doing any of the editing or operations. However, it's a really uh, friendly user interface. allows you to visualize the cabinets of which you have um, many choices, the microphones, and the critical thing, the mic placement. So we can also process bass guitar. We have all the typical um, cabinets you'd want for bass. And it's also an IR player. So if you have a commercial library or your own library of impulse responses, you can load those as well. Uh, impulse responses are static. You can't move the microphone, but you have, there's thousands and thousands that are available for free for small prices. And you can even roll your own if you wish. Uh, going back to the guitar, you can load 32 cabinets at any one time. However, you're able to bring in other cabinets. There's going to be new cabinets coming from third-party studios with additional microphones, additional uh, combinations. So it's really quite limitless in terms of what you can do with it. And essentially analogous to the old way where you'd have your assistant go in the studio and, and move the microphone until you found the sweet spot. Um, I'm lacking hands right now, but maybe I'll, I'll just play a little bit. I'll just do a trill. If I move the microphone around, we really get a vast timber, a uh, vast palette of timbers available. And I can change, I can go here and up to a 412, and change to a different microphone. So you can really home in on the sound, and, and rather than using um, a formula of how you get the sound, just really use the audio quality and the, the balance with respect to everything else that you're recording to get the sound you want. Um, here we have right now this particular cabinet. It's called Rack Hero. It's a um, custom audio 4x12. Uh, you have all different varieties of cabinets. You have AC30. Um, you have old fenders. You have this is a divided by 13. Uh, it's really quite limitless. Um, you can also do the back of the cabinet if you wish. 
the front of the cabinet. And as well, we have an EQ section if you just need to fine tune the sound. If you're using a pedal board or a rack preamp, for instance, like a, um, uh, for your distortion, if you're using a tube preamp, either in a pedal format or, or a rack, then we also have a power amp modeling section. Um, what that allows you to do is get a little extra compression. In, in this particular um, application, because we're using the tube amp, it's quite unnecessary to invoke the uh, um, power amp modeling, but that's an option available. If I use this setup with the Alaric distortion and the torpedo cab, I would turn on the power amp modeling, and if I was going for a Marshall sound, then I would choose push-pull, which is multiple tubes, EL34s, and then I could turn this on and set the gain presence and depth to my liking. Well, now that I've given you a little preview, why don't we take a listen to how it sounds, which is the most important thing. So, signal pass, guitar, into the Tiny Terror, Tiny Terror speaker output, into the torpedo, torpedo directly to what you're hearing uh, on your computer right now. So let's just do that a power chord and we'll go through a couple of cabinets and a couple of mics. <laughs> One of the nice features about using a torpedo is the relationship between the guitar and the amplifier does not have any you know, analog to digital conversion involved. So everything that's happening in the digital domain is happening after the output. So now everything I do on the guitar, the amp's going to be very responsive to. So. Get tons of finger tone and all the controls of the guitar are very interactive. All the controls of the amplifier work. Get a cleaner sound. Applications for a two notes torpedo technology include anywhere where um, loud volume is not possible or transporting cabs are not possible. So that would include sound stages, uh, church applications, uh, recording studios, either a home studio where you'd be bothering somebody in an apartment, uh, in a large studio where you might be recording a grand piano or piano and you don't want bleed, uh, live stages where you wouldn't bring expensive microphones and especially wouldn't put them far away from the cabinets. Um, anywhere where you wouldn't be able to uh, quickly set up in, in any other way other than having a, a preset solution. Uh, application for the reload is one thing that's really great is when you can take a track that you've recorded and run it back through a guitar amplifier and balance the controls of the amplifier with reference to the different other tracks, so your vocals and your drums, etc. And then uh, instead of using EQ and compression on your track, on the board, just actually use the guitar amp. It's something that you really have to try to believe how, it, how amazing it does. Um, the, the results are really tactile and you can really get the track to fit very, very quickly. Um, all the products are very expandable. We're going to be having new cabinets added and it's a great solution for just about any guitar player or bass player or studio professional. Well, there you have a quick tour of the TuneOuts Torpedo Speaker Emulator. For more information, contact fullcompass.com or your Full Compass sales professional.